been a while. Haven't been posting. No, my fuck's still fat. But that's not what we're talking about today. So I've been talking to my therapist on the weekly for five weeks now. And he said I should create more content. Not for other people, but just for myself to create. So I'm back. Um, this one is called my first AA meeting because I went to an Alcoholic Anonymous meeting. They even made me buy this book because they thought I was going to join. I don't think about quitting drinking, but I just need to slow my ass down and be disciplined. I was scared to go, man. You know, it's hard, very difficult to do something on your own and showing up where they're all strangers and a lot of them know each other because that's their supportive environment. And the reason for going to AA was to be around supportive environment in a non-judgmental uh, circle, peer group, and just to, you know, my therapist said, go check it out. So I went to check it out. Similar to what you see in the movie, I went in, a uh, big desk in the front, rows of seats. I was the first one, I'm always early. I was 30 minutes early, I sat there, and people started coming in. There were about 12 people in there, and there were other people on Zoom too. And uh, the guy started the meeting, uh, just you know, reading about letting, so there's like 12 steps. The first step is uh, admitting it and having the courage to leave your ego and seek help from something bigger than you in, in the peer group. Then we all went around the room and say, you know, your name. And, and then it's your story. And it was, bro, it's funny, bro. I, I actually do. I was like, my name is Ying and I'm an alcoholic. And then people in the room was like, hey, Ying. And I shared the story, man. Like I've been drinking every day for the past six years. Uh, we haven't gotten the root of it. I lost my mojo in life. I gained all my weight back and just been lost, bro. Like, just just don't have any purpose. Like, paying bills and trying to just keep, stay afloat, that ain't, that's not living, man. It's part of it, but it's not living. So, I went to the AA meeting, man, but those stories, bro, like, people really go through it, man. And I know a lot of cocky people, man, that comes in and then I cut their hair, and I know the real them. That ain't even them. But it's like moms be out here, like, front, like fronting, man, flexing. And why, when you flexing, you 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 kind of hurting other people because you lying to them. And now they believe in you live a certain lifestyle and you this and you that, but and you broken in the motherfucker inside. So being around. Uh, those people who are like honest with their stories, bro, I, I haven't felt that human in a long time. And I'm, I'm going back. But I'm, I'm not quitting drinking. I'm not going to drink today. But one step at a time, man. And uh, you gonna, I'm going to create more content because I want to do it, man. Like, I need something to do. So you guys going to see more of me, man. But that was the story of my first alcoholic anonymous meeting. And I'm going to create some more shit for Endomorph TV. Just random stuff, man. I just want to create. That's it.